Do, 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 do. Hello, everybody. My name is Jurassic Insider, and welcome back to Jurassic World game. And I'm here, episode 48, I think, or something like that. I don't even remember at this point. It's just kind of happening. Two more episodes until episode 50. Can you believe that, boys and girls, and ladies and gentlemen, whatever you want to be called? Only a couple more episodes, and then we're done. We're like done, done. <laughs> I can't believe it, but it's insane. We, we're done. We're done. And then episode 50 comes. And then after that, it'll be like, it never happened. And I got some pretty exciting stuff for episode 50. It's gonna be like nothing we had before. It's gonna be not really a pretty big content episode, but it's also gonna be pretty big as far as expansions of the channel. And it's gonna, gonna just be a big movement overall for the Jurassic Insider as we're starting to move into that larger range. We're about to hit 50 subs, probably in the next two weeks, I'm assuming, I hope. Um, we've kind of been a little bit slow the past couple weeks, but that is completely my fault because I've not been very consistent to my uploading schedule. But hopefully we can get back on track and hit 50 subs, hopefully in the next one or two weeks. And then we'll be all good, so let's get started. First up, Registerus, look at him. Another one, and we've got so many. How many is that now? That's two extra ones, so we technically only need two more until we max them out. Also, if we go in here... Look at that face right there. That's the Dimetrodon. I actually got him from uh, the Daily Missions Pack. Yeah, which is really interesting because there's like a less than 1% chance to get it. Like, that's kind of weird. Daily Missions Pack? Of all things, it came from there. But I thought that was pretty cool. And um, we did get it. And that's cool because it's a new guy uh, for a puck. And that pretty much is our second carnival. So it's a nice little alternate size from T-Rex as far as legendary carnivals. And we'll be all, all good. It's a pretty good dinosaur, I'm not gonna lie. Um, well, not bad at all. And it will be nice to have like a nice little level 10 of that guy. He won't be the coolest thing in the world, but it is nice to have him. So let's do it. Let's get into this episode. All right. So we're gonna get started with this recovery, first of all, for this pasta sutures. These code reds, for some reason, they're like these six. Look at these. This is so hard, especially the slidey, slidey thingies. And then. Yeah, yeah, see, like, uh, I mean, okay, that was because I was talking and I got distracted. But even the regular ones, okay, I've never known how to do these. But, oh, yeah. So, I think I'm finally trying to understand how to do these. Yeah, okay. So, he basically just has a fall of the circle. I mean, it's probably pretty obvious and it's just me being an idiot. Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See? It'll be, like, all over the place. They didn't do this before. Like, before, it'd just be the four rounds kind of thing. Some of them would be a little bit more difficult than others. But, see... They've never been this difficult. I mean, maybe I'm just bad at these, or... Like, I don't think I'm too horrible, but, like... Yeah, these are, like, so hard. And the bars, too. Like, there's so much red and so little everything else. It's so difficult. I, I I'm really... Might even need to consider stopping... Stop doing code reds for a while, because, like... I... Because there's pretty much 0% chance of me winning these guys. Like, these are really... You know, let's just try this, I get. Oh, this is a good one. Yopalosepolis. Oh, God. Okay, this one's... A oh, yeah, these ones aren't bad. See, they'll cycle between them, but you don't know which one you're going to get, the hard one or the easy one. This is the easy one with uh, the bar one in specific, uh, where you have to, like, click on the bar like this. The bars are much larger. Like, not the actual bar, but the tiny yellow bars, basically, the strips. Those are a lot, like, thicker, so it's easier for you to click on them, right? And these don't go in random numbers, and they're much slower, too. The regular, like, tappy-tap ones. So it's overall a lot nicer, uh, these ones. And you pretty much get the same rewards, I'm assuming, too. Like, I highly doubt they're going to give you different rewards. Um, even if they do, it's probably going to be DNA-wise. And we all know that DNA is not going to help you. The only reason to do Code Reds is the SDNA. And even that slowly builds up. But you are doing pretty well, uh, basically... Still really only about a fourth of a way to an Indoraptor, but that's not too bad. But in here, we got what lies beneath, which is great, because that it's just great. Um, and the greatest part about the aquatic events where you unlock the, uh, the dinosaur, obviously, first of all, Maui Saurus is an awesome dinosaur, and it'll be nice to unlock him. But more than that, they're super easy. They're, like, as far as right now, like, look at this, this is so easy. And they're only one round, too, which is just the best part of them. And as you can see, we have a couple, uh, we have a new, um, I think it's Chron yeah, Chronosaurus. Um, and we can make a level 20 of that guy in this episode, too. I'm sorry we've been neglecting the, um, the aquatics a little bit in the past couple episodes. There's just been so many big things happening 
in our regular park that I keep forgetting about the aquatics. But we will cover them most likely in this episode because we have the Maui Source event to do. Um, what's the other one? What's the other event? Uh, Clash of Champions, I'm not too worried about. I think I did something uh, this morning too. What was it? Um, oh yeah, I think it was just Tester Strength. It wasn't anything too big of a deal. Alright, but what we can do is I clip one hatchery open for something cool. Oh my goodness, look at all these tournament creatures, guys. Look at all these beautiful tournament creatures. That's well, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, seven tournament creatures. Technically, not all of these are tournament creatures. This one is this one's a tournament hybrid. Um, and then these two have VIP. But today we are gonna be getting into the mass Dontasaurus. Bum bum bum. And look how freaking awesome he looks. He's gonna be a brand new amphibian in a puck. And I cannot wait. Cause he's just he's awesome. And um Yeah, if I showed you guys his stats a while ago, he is pretty, pretty good. I don't think he's gonna be quite up there with um our lovely what's his name? What's his name? Of course, I didn't know his name. Yeah, Tiny Calagrius, but he's gonna be pretty good. So unfortunately, what I'm actually gonna have to do is I'm gonna remove Tiny Glagris. I know we have a lot of amphibians back here in the kind of legendary section. We need we need to expand this section in particular because we're getting a lot more legendaries. Like, um, we still haven't got to that stage where we're, un we're unlocking legendaries, but we're still getting legendaries if that makes sense. Uh, so we probably need to expand that area because do we have it? Yeah, we probably yeah we have Scapognathus in here as well. Um, but here we go, the Math Dontosaurus. Let's get it! Ba ba da ba! Woohoo! Ooh, he's a funny looking guy! Alright, alright, let me see him, let me see him. Let me see him, alright. Ooh, he's tiny! Look at him, he's so tiny! Oh my goodness, this is not what I was expecting! Oh, it's kinda ugly in the face, kinda like a Kool Aid. Uh, oh, sorry, you can't say Kool Aid, forgot. Trademark, trademark. Mark, don't hold me down, Beaver. All right, I mean that. But, yeah, this guy. Yeah, Coolosaurus or Coolosaurus, whatever. Oh, he's very nice though. I do like him a lot. Oh, love the attention to the details with all the like. Oh, the little spikes. Not even spikes, but just like carriage. He still looks pretty feisty though. Love him a lot. Oh, he already has nearly a thousand health at just level five. I don't. Yeah, he's not gonna have as much health as Tiny Clagris. Okay, 1,296, so about 1,300. Tenic Lagris had about 1,500, so it's about 200. And then how much attack? That's definitely more attack than uh, Tenny Lagris. Oh, dang, I want to see. Let's see. I mean, he's definitely going to be second on the roster. He's first on the roster. They say he's the best. Yeah, look at that attack. Okay, that's about, like, what? 50, 60, best, almost 70. 70 attack for 200 health. 70 attack for 200 health. I'd say that's just about... Okay, if it was a creature with less health, less attack, I'd probably go for the health there. But because the, these... Let's be honest, 1,296 health is still a lot. I actually think Mastodontosaurus is probably a better creature. Now, 1,500 health... Can't, I don't really know what other creatures it may be fighting. I mean, obviously, Mastodontosaurus, if it were to fight Tanaclagoras, it would obviously like completely destroy it um, with about 600 attack. Um... Yeah, so upgraded, so like, um, whenever it has the advantage, it has about 600 attack. Um, and even otherwise, it's still, it can pretty much, like, one-shot a lot of guys. A lot of guys. It could one-shot Velociraptor. It could definitely one-shot T-Rex. Um, it could one-shot, um, it might not be able to, it actually, uh, yeah, it probably won't be able to one-shot Ragosaurus. But a lot of these carnivores, it can basically one-shot. So I think it's pretty great. It's not even like he's a big attack guy. He's just a balanced creature, but balanced well enough. I think Tanny was really just a big attack guy. But I really, really like him a lot. I think we're going to get into him. And he's going to be pretty awesome. And he's pretty adorable too. So that pretty much is going to expand our amphibian section or sector, whatever you want to call it, by quite a bit. Because this is like the first time in a while that, oops, uh, first time in a while that we're having uh, good amphibians. Uh, Cause up there, pretty much the best one we have right now is Prinus Sutras. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think there's another one that's close to it, but I can't remember what it was. Um, yeah, Prinus Sutras level 20. Um, oh yeah, and Cantastega duh. Um, but a Cantastega, I'm. I hate to say it, cause he was the first tournament creature, but he's not really that applicable because he just has an insane amount of attack for a creature like that. But he has 
infinitely no health at all. He can barely stand against really any legendary pterosaur. Like, Scappy could kill him in two, pretty much all three of the legendary pterosaurs, and definitely all of the um, tournament pterosaurs can kill him in two, which is really unusual. That shouldn't be, it shouldn't be like that for like a, tur a decent tournament creature. Um, and even some regular like creatures that aren't pterosaurs can still kill him in like three. So that's the that's a big problem. Also, a uh, Dilophosaurus Gen 2 tournament is coming up. I uh, don't know if we'll participate in it. Maybe just for that nice. I'm thinking we should get the Predator uh, Predator League uh, this time with the Evil Booster Legendary. I'm even confident that this account is getting. It's really close to being as good as my other account because on my other yeah I'm actually as far as creatures it's better. Pro okay no, no it's not better. Because that, yeah, that, that account is slightly better, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Because on that account, I only have one VIP crew. Well, I, I have two, but one of them is a Cenozoic. Anyways, I've been talking for so long, and I probably bored you guys to death. So let's go ahead and see. Uh, can we go in and use, I want to try to use Master. Oh yeah, this is a really nice battle to use Master on the Swords. And, um, should we just go for Master? Yeah, Meat Shields are going to be pretty much useless. Alright, let's see him. Let's see him. Let's see him. Oh yeah, 608 attack. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, that's pretty much the highest attack on the team, right? Like, there's nothing that really even comes close to it. I mean, Tani can get pretty close, but still. That's a lot. That's a lot. Alright, there's his two coins the sword. Oh, it's so sad, because he can't do anything. I uh, I think we should go ahead and go for the reserves. I kind of want to see it's full late. Um, but you still got to be careful, because I think, I mean, maybe, maybe a full eight or a full seven... Definitely a full eight can kill this guy. Uh, so you don't want to get too confident. The funniest thing is he's so small. He's so small. I could like step on him. And I can tell you, I'm not a very big guy. Not a very big guy at all. And still, despite that size, it's he's like the best Grinch on a team according to the game. And probably even according to me. I like Tani a little bit more because, you know, he's cooler looking. Uh, not to get any way, uh, anything away from Mastontosaurus. But, I mean, yes, you got to admit... Um, there we go. Nice solid number 1160. And let's go for the full eight. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't stand a chance, boy. Boom. Oh, yeah, that was actually a lot scarier than I thought. He's kind of like a frog. Oh, no, no, like a toad. If you look at him, like, directly in the eyes, he's a toad. Like, that is a toadosaurus right there. All right, let's grab the DNA. And see, Protostega. Nice, nice. Not a very, um, not the best one. But, you know, he is something. How is this next one? That one's... A little bit more annoying because there's three dinos, which I don't like. Anyways, let's get back into it with the Maui Saurus tournament. So that is pretty much it for the Mastonosaurus. Pretty awesome guy, if you ask me. And it's great to see that he's the best creature. So you know what? Since we're on the topic, let's check out these guys because it's about time. Let's first do the Hathiosaurus and see. Oh, that's a tiny fish for a big dino. Oh, he's swimming against the currents. Oops. Alrighty, let's see him. Does he look pretty good? I think so. Not exactly how I imagined. Uh, very needle-like, uh, but not really the most unique out there. 446, 139, so pretty standard for a legendary. The problem is, though, it takes so long to incubate. I think the incubation time was like three days for this guy. Oh, look at him. He's swimming around. He doesn't even give a crap about us. That's the fun thing about these aquatic creatures. Like, because they can swim, they just, like, go everywhere. And it's so fun to see them. You can watch them, but I'm not going to do that because I'm recording right now. Now, Chronosaurus. This is where the big boy comes in. And we're going to go ahead and see it become awesome. Level 20. Oh, there, there it goes. Oh, you missed it. There you go, buddy. There you go. How is he? How is he? Pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. And this is pretty much going to be, like, what, a second level 20? Um, let's get him. Oh, already you can see some differences. Very nice to see that legendary bar right there. The gold around the rims. You can. This is the stages of the game. This is the stages. This is the days. The days of evolution of the legendary. Oh no, we're losing so much bulk. We had like seven. We had like seven thousand. I think I spent too much on mods. I spent like two hundred fifty this morning on mods. Two fifty bulk. I think it's pretty worth it. I got really really lucky with the mods. I think I got like twenty mods. Uh, not twenty mods. This is a little bit of an exaggeration, but at least like. 10 to 15. All right, all right, buddy. How is she? 391 health. Okay, at first I was like, that's really bad. 
366 attack. Dang it, he's one of those guys. 366 attack is so good. Oh, that's so good. But the attack, I mean, the health, I can't do it. The 391 health. Uh, I mean, it will it will last against super rares, but it won't survive against other. Yeah, look how close that is to some of the. I guess in general, the aquatics don't really have that great health. None of them are health guys, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. But let's go ahead and put these guys to the test. All right, what can we do? I want to do Hophiosaurus, but he's pretty. If we just one of one of the others is going to like completely destroy them. So since we made the Chronosaurus this episode, let's just plop in Chronosaurus. Um, he'll have the disadvantage against something. Can't remember. I can't remember this. Okay, uh, what was it? I think it's surface. No, no, no. Uh, reefs of a surface. Reefs of a surface, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't memorize these. Okay, yeah. Reefs over surface. Um, surface over these guys' caves. Um, and yeah, so on and so forth, I think, or something. Uh, I'm just going to go for that because I'm fairly confident. But don't want to get too confident because we have, like, zero health whatsoever. Yeah, look how incredibly close that is to Helicoprion. All right, yeah. So we have... Oh, that's a lot of attack, though. That is a lot of attack, though, that we have. All right, don't mind it too much. Oh, he goes for the one. Nice, yeah, so the attack is still really good, but you're pretty much going to end up with lower health. It's pretty much, I didn't expect it, honestly. I thought the reefs, I always interpreted the reefs as having a lot of health. I don't know why, I just look at them and I look at, yeah, like these guys are health guys. But that's sometimes the case, especially with like the turtles, but it's not always the case. Like Fessidermia, Protosega, they both are health guys, but it's not always the case. And then I usually see uh, caves as having, oh, okay, I was scared for a second, but that's not bad. Um, I always interpret caves as having um, a lot of uh, attack uh, opposed to health, and then uh, surface is kind of being in between or either or. Um, yeah, and that's kind of how I always interpreted because that's a, that's really true for the Jurassic ones because you can definitely tell like it. You can't tell me it's a lie that the herbivores and amphibians have the best health. Okay, maybe you could argue with amphibians. There are a lot of amphibians that are big health guys. I mean, it's hack guys. But some of the best helpers in the entire game are amphibians. Maui Source Pack, it's so blue. It's so blue. Oh, he's beautiful. And there we go, the Maui Source. He's wonderful. We already have him, but, you know, I think we actually have uh, two of him. We're getting so close to another uh, 10,000 loyalty points. And actually, this is only episode, like, 48. So we still have seven more episodes. So by the time I open up that solid gold pack, which I'll probably record that episode this weekend, it's, it's going to be... um. It's, it's like, we're gonna have, like, a lot of loyalty points. Probably, like, near 1,500. So, that's pretty great. Maybe not that much, because I'm gonna record. It's more the recording time that matters, not the episode count. Um, kind of been working on missions right now, for the most part. Like, collect oh, that dreaded mission. Collect 15,000 from a heliport. Uh, I guess I could have done a couple more of those, and then, uh, battle stage. I uh, kind of been working on those off-camera, and that's pretty nice. Um... And we're pretty much doing these events. I know I'm doing so many of these events off camera, and I know it's not fair, but sometimes I just can't record. It's just so, it's like, it's really rare that I find a condition where I can clearly record, especially on the weekdays. Weekends, it's usually fine, but weekdays, it's an absolute nightmare. It's a nightmare to record. Um, try to find time to record, but I have to if I want to do these events. The, like sometimes like I have to like actually force myself because I'm not gonna do an event I, I haven't got any events uh, for uh, 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 Gold rewards pack yet, but if I were to um, If I were to get uh, a pack for if I were to do an event for a golden rewards pack I can't do that off camera Even though it's starting to seem like I can because I mean think about it that Dimetrodon off camera um, Who else was off camera? Megalosaurus was you guys probably don't even know I got Megalosaurus because I did I recorded it but I wasn't in suitable uh, conditions to record it because I uh, got him while making uh, uh by buying a pack and there was like a super high percent chance of getting Megalosaurus so I knew I was gonna get him so I recorded it and I got him um so what that's actually what gonna, what's gonna be next episode episode 49 it's gonna be a bunch of clips from a bunch of things I couldn't do on camera like me talking and it's basically just gonna be me talking. So that's where you're gonna actually discover like the actual pack opening on how I get the Megalosaurus, but it'll be like a voiceover sort of, sort of situation. It will be a super, super short episode, uh, probably around like three to five minutes. So 
yeah, I guess you can watch that if you want to see how I got that. And after that, we're going into big games because that's where we hit the 50s. Episode 50 is going to start with a bang and then we're off. We're off. And that's when I think we're going to really set in the schedule. I'm going to really start to grind in the video editing. I'm going to try to make it a lot better. Um, and some new things are coming. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, I'm going to go ahead and um, hint it a little bit. Um, new media forms are coming. New forms of media are coming uh, to the channel. Um, I'm expanding it farther than YouTube, the Jurassic Insider channel, uh, trying to bring new influence and hopefully that will convince more people uh, to come and just um, just enjoy the channel and uh, see what's up. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Jurassic World Game. If you didn't, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Can't wait for episode 50. If you are, make sure to tell me in the comments or whatever you want to do. And I'll see you guys later. This is Jurassic Insider signing out.